there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a GIF animation inside of Photoshop. So we're going to be making a glittery animation. We're going to use some stars that we created in my previous video to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you a link to that video in case you want to watch that. But any star type brush will work, glittery, confetti style. So anything like that will work for this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come up here to File, New. And I'm going to use a 1920 by 1080 size document, resolution 72, RGB color 8-bit. And I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Now I'm going to add a new layer to this. This is a new transparent blank layer. And I'm going to name this layer Animation. And now I'm going to right click and convert this blank layer to a smart object. So this is going to be a glitter animation template, which means that you can just add your images in there, mask them, and you don't have to create the glitter again. So it's something that's going to be super easy. All of our animation is going to happen inside of this smart object right here. And you'll place your image underneath that layer. And I'll show you how you'll control that here in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and get that animation done. I just double clicked right there to open up this animation PSB document. So this is just a, a document nested inside of our main document. And I'm going to press Command and Delete to fill that with black. Uh, this is just so that we can see what we're doing. In a little bit, we're going to end up deleting that anyway. Let's go ahead and add a new layer. This is a new blank transparent layer. So these are all of the star uh, brushes that we made in that last video. We're going to be using this one right here. This is just a star scatter brush. I'll go ahead and leave it at 50 pixels and then I'm just going to draw these in here. So I'm just kind of scribbling all over the canvas. And I know it looks like a lot of stars, but we're going to be masking this out as well. So uh, don't worry too much about that. I'm going to add a new layer on top of this layer. And I'm going to take my size up to about 70 and then add some more stars. I'm going to turn off that first layer just so I can see where my coverage is here. I'm going to make sure I cover everything. Okay, and on this same layer, I'm going to bring it up to about 125. And I'm going to make some really big stars here. Now I'm going to double click right here on this layer and I'm going to add an outer glow to this. You can do this, uh, the layer styles on this document. So I just want a little bit more shine on those. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I'm going to press the option key on my keyboard and I'm going to click on this effect right here and drag it down to this layer. So we're going to have that glow effect on both of them. Now you can also add that glow effect here if you like. So you can add any type of effect to, to the smart object on the outside here. But I'm just going to go ahead and add them here. And I'm going to start with this first layer right here. So I'm going to turn this one off. And I'm going to add a layer mask to that. So I'm just click on this little icon right here to add a layer mask. And then Option and Delete to fill that with black. So it's basically covering all of our stars right now. Now we're going to come back and uh, reveal those stars. We're going to use a different brush for that though. We're here in Legacy Brushes. These are default in Photoshop. Legacy Brushes and then you're going to come here to Wet Media Brushes. And we're going to use this brush right here. This is the Scattered Dry Brush Small Tip. So we're going to use that one. I'm going to bring the size of this up to about 50 pixels. And I'm going to press the letter X on my keyboard to make sure that the white is showing because that's going to reveal. And then I'm just going to kind of come in here and tap around until I uncover everything. But I'm tapping so that I'm not completely uncovering the entire layer. Okay, so I have everything uncovered. Now I'm just going to come back to some areas and uncover them a lot more. So I'm getting a lot more brightness in some areas. Uh, versus others. Okay, so I'll go ahead and leave it like that. I'm going to turn that one off, turn on this second layer. I'm going to add a layer mask to that one as well. Command and delete to fill that with a black color. I have my white on top and I'm going to do the exact same thing here. Just kind of going through and tapping, and basically scribbling out on the canvas. And then you can come back and make sure that some areas are 
super bright, but I do want to have stars everywhere. I just want a variance um, in, in the mask. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave it like that. So this is both of the layers that we've created. Now I'm going to come here to my video timeline. I already have it up, but if you don't, you can come here to Window, Timeline, and this is going to come up for you at the bottom. There are two options here. You can create a video timeline or create a frame animation. We're going to create a video timeline, so I'm going to click on that and drag this up so we can see it. Zoom out on this so we can take a look at that. And I'm going to shrink this up so I can see it. I'm going to grab all of my layers here and I'm going to end this at about 8. So I'll just drag them all out to um, 8 seconds here. Okay, we're going to start with this first layer, which is layer 2. That's the top layer up here. So the timeline right here, the timeline settings are going to correspond to the layers up here. So we're working with layer 2 at this point. I'm going to click right here on my little gear, make sure that my resolution is at 100% and that I do have loop playback selected. And then I'm going to come here to layer 2 and click on that little arrow for this uh, drop down list of options right here. So typically what you're going to see are these three right here, but because we have layer masks on these, we're also getting these two options as well. And we're going to use this layer mask option on this layer one here in a minute. So we're going to start here on this layer with opacity. I have my playhead at the very beginning right here and I'm going to click on opacity. That's going to give me a key right there at the beginning. This is going to determine the beginning of the animation. So this is the start position. Now I'm going to take my playhead to about two seconds and I'm going to click it again. That's going to give me another key. This will determine the transition from my starting point to this point. So from there, I'm going to take my opacity down to zero. And then I'm going to take my playhead to four. Click right there. Bring my opacity back up to 100%. I'm going to go to six. Click again. Bring it down to zero. And then I'm going to go to eight. Click again. And here I'm just going to take it up to about 90%. Okay, so let's take a look at what that did. I'm just going to press play. And you can see how it's kind of just pulsing at this point. So you're not really getting much, uh, but when we combine it with the second layer, it's going to look a lot more shimmery. So let's go ahead and start on that. Click right here on layer one. That's the second layer right here. And for this one, I am going to click right here to unlink the mask from the layer itself. I'm going to click on the mask and hit the letter V on the keyboard to bring up these anchors here. And then I'm going to drag it out to about 2500 or so. Actually, I'll take it to 23. Okay, so it doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere around 23. I, I just want the mask coming off the screen a little bit. So I'm going to take my playhead all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to click right here to reveal all of the options for layer 1. And I'm going to click right here on layer mask position. Now I've set a key right there. That means that this is our starting position right here. We have it flush with the left hand side and I'm going to drag it all the way to 8 and I'm going to click on layer mask position again. This is my second key. I'm going to move this over and I want it flush with the right hand side this time. So basically I'm telling it that I want it to start here and I want it to end here. So it's going to move this gradually that way. So let's take a look at that. You can see how with that pulsing and the way it's moving like that, you get a shimmery effect. So I'm going to bring this in. When it transitions from the loop, so the loop begins again, you get this really hard transformation right there. So what I'm going to do is take this where it ends and bring it somewhere around four seconds. And then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to add another layer mask position key. We're still working with layer one, this one right here, and I'm going to just take it back to its original position. That way when it transitions, it's not such a hard transition. Okay, let's go ahead and try that and see how that works out. Okay, I think that looks much better, so it's not, it's not giving us such a harsh transition. 
Okay, so once we're done with the timeline, I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer right here, the animation layer, because we don't need that. We don't want that black showing up on our smart object. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit delete. Now you're not going to be able to see it at this point, but the stars are there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, make sure to save it. And I'm going to bring in an image. Let me drag this over. I'm actually going to close this just so that I can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to hold shift and the option key and just drag this out to make it a lot bigger. And I'm going to drag it down here. Okay, so I'm going to put this image right underneath the animation. Now at this point you can see that it's just all over her face and I don't want that. So let me zoom out. I'm going to bring that timeline back up. And I'm going to create a video timeline here so that this is our smart object right here that already has all of its animations. And now we just added um, this right here. I'm going to drag it out so it's the same size as our animation. And I'm going to press play. And you can see how that glitters. But I don't want it to glitter on her face like this. So what I'm going to do is come back to my animation and I'm going to add a layer mask to that. So I'm going to click on the layer mask. Letter B on the keyboard to bring up the brush tool. I'm going to select a different brush though. From the default brushes, I'm just going to choose the hard round brush. And then I'm going to press the letter X on the keyboard to bring up the black so we can hide all of these stars that are on her face. And then that's just leaving the animation everywhere but her face. Come here to the little hamburger menu and then choose render video. And you can render it as an MP4. You have all of your video settings right here, your document size, frame rate, and all of those things here. And you'll just click on render and it'll uh, render out a video. So this is what it looks like rendered out as a video. And this is a, a GIF animation. The other one is a video. So you can do it either way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment. All of those things really will help this channel grow. So if you'd like to see more videos from this channel, please make sure to do at least one of those things. And also visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.